In today's video, I will prove without a doubt no. that this is the best defense to use in Madden 23. It shuts down any run play. Has airtight pass coverage. And gets sacks and takeaways all game long. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using the New Orleans Saints offense and the Denver Broncos defense. I make a lot of videos out of a lot of different playbooks, but these two are definitely my favorites out of all the ebooks that I've made. And today, I'm going to show you the best offense and defense to use in Madden NFL 23 right now. But I always have more gameplay tips and tricks to show you, so if you're enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more right now and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. You can download this or any of my ebooks instantly to your phone, computer, and have it sent to the email of your choice. In today's game, we have a possible Super Bowl preview between my favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Kansas City Chiefs, who might have the best offense in the game. So this will be a perfect test to show what this defense can do. I start this game off on offense, though, and anytime I use the Saints, I really only use one offense, and that is my gun stack Y flex offense, which I really think is the hardest offense to stop in the entire game. I just put out a full breakdown of this offense just last week, and I've put out several gameplays all year using this offense. So if you guys want to see more, I'll have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video. So stick around for that. On well, the first play, I see that he is in a man zero press, so I switch over to the curl combo, which is an easy one play touchdown again to look like this, but the pressure gets in before I can get the ball away, and I get sacked on the very first play, pushing me back to a second in 20 to start the game. When I get back to the huddle, I see that he's running the Overstorm Braid, which is one of the meta defenses in Madden 23 right now, despite it being pat several times. This is the first of several meta defenses and offenses you will see my opponent run today, as he is clearly a YouTube-based player. On the next play, he's playing way off now, and since he's in a man, I decide to get back what I can with Jalen Hurts' his legs. Whenever I get into a third and long like this, I go to pretty much the only other play in this entire playbook that I use, and that's the Saints fork, as it really can't be stopped, unless you get instant pressure like this anyways. Woo! As I see, hits me with another meta blitz, the dollar DB fire too. Really original, bro. So on fourth and long, this early in the game, I make the smart decision and decide to punt away. The defense I'm going to be showing you guys today is one that I already put out about a month ago from the quarter normal out of my multi-D defensive ebook, and that play is the under smoke. It's also in the Denver Broncos playbook under a different formation called the quarter 137, which is a version I'll be using today. If you saw that video and you're running the defense like I am, the setup I'm going to be showing you today is going to be completely different with some new adjustments that make this defense even better so make sure to stick around for that before i do though just know that this defense is predicated on speed so make sure you maximize your team speed on defense i usually put my fastest linebacker in the kobe dean in the middle linebacker and my fastest defensive lineman at the three down spots which are josh sweat hassan reddick and jordan davis because you never know who the offensive line is going to let get in unblocked but whoever that is the faster the better as the quicker they are the quicker they'll get to the quarterback on the first play my man defense gets crossed up and he hits me with a counter play while I'm still trying to make adjustments, breaking for a big gain. Then on the next play, I think he's trying to use the new gun monster stack formation glitch, but if he is, it doesn't work against this defensive formation as we shut it down. Oh no, you don't. I'm sure he was because he tries to use several glitch plays throughout the entire game. On second and 12, I get to show you one of the new adjustments that I recently started making that really kicks up the pressure from the blitz. And that is that I started to use or whoever is manned to the running back. This blitz gets good pressure from the previous setups as well, where I use it the middle linebacker, but I find that against this look, most people just block the running back anyway, so to me, it's best to just let them all blitz and use it the middle of the field with this defender since you basically get the same amount of coverage as the previous setup, only with more pressure. And you can see on the next play, we get multiple free blitzers right in Mahomes' face, forcing an early throw that is picked off by my worst safety in coverage. Back on offense and right back to my gun stack Y flex offense, and I can see he also goes right back to calling the meta DB fire too, which is a good blitz, but is also one of the weakest defenses in the game right up the middle based off the fact that both safeties drop back after the snap and there's no second level defenders once you get through the line of scrimmage. So I switch over to the inside zone and then I just keep running a hurry up to keep him in this defense as I'm breaking off huge gains every single time. I get inside the red zone quickly and this guy must really value his timeouts over points as he basically just let me walk right down the middle of the field. I figure he's going to run commit at some point as I'm really not hiding what I'm doing here. So I switch to the drive H wheel to catch him off guard and sure enough he did something pretty close to it by switching over to the so-called meta spinner blitz, leaving the running back completely uncovered for an easy score. Oh, sit, that's just too easy. 
Nice. Back on defense, I get a chance to go over another new adjustment that I recently started making in this and a lot of different man zero blitzes like this, and that is to stop pressing your cornerbacks. In the original setup, I once again press the DBs, and I still do that if I suspect a short throw, but a recent title update made it so that elite receivers will beat the press in a way that they get wide open against simple streaks just like this. As once again he takes a shot, probably thinking he'd just switch on and beat me in a user one-on-one, -on -one, Nope. But once again, he was wrong. The Chiefs don't have an elite wide receiver anymore, but they do have a lot of speed which can be just as costly. So I will show you guys a better adjustment to make on the next series. Back on offense, he's in another meta blitz that has since been passed, the 3-3 linebacker blitz zero. So I switched to one of my man-beating one-play touchdowns from this formation, the Z spot, which I keep in my audibles against players that use a lot of man coverages. All you have to do is throw this ball at the right time, and it's an easy one-play touchdown. Break yourself! Back on defense, my opponent starts using the exact same offense I am, so he probably saw one of my videos or is a subscriber as he uses my sail and pivot play against me, and it works against me the exact same way as I really didn't see it coming at all. Then he calls a hurry up and tries to hit me with an inside zone as he's basically just copying me now. On the next play, I make the new adjustment that I was talking about earlier. The real reason that I press is to move the blitzing cornerback from behind the lineman where he essentially starts the play to outside the box in hopes that he will get in unblocked. But since pressing can get me in trouble in coverage, I realize I get the exact same effect by simply pinching the entire defense, which is hitting the RB or R1 button and then down on the right stick, which will give you the exact same effect. On the next Next play he hits me underneath and I guess he's just better at hammering the A button as he breaks free for the first. Next play he hits me with another one of my plays from the pistol wing flex close which isn't in the Saints playbook so he's clearly using a custom playbook. On the next play I get the full new setup in as I pinch the defense this time, uses the safety on the running back. <laughs> Now in second and 25, he pulls out the RPO Reef Flat Wheel Glitch, which was patched in the latest update. It doesn't glitch out man coverage the same way it did previously, but it does get his tight end wide open, who's much taller and gets a chance to moss me. Inside the red zone, I switch to my 3-4 odd cover for quarters, but on the next play, he beats me in the flat, so I go right back. It doesn't really matter, though, as on the next play, he hikes me while I'm still getting set and arrive late in coverage, or I would have had another interception. He goes for two, but the pressure gets home again, forcing an incomplete pass. And we get the ball with two minutes left before half. On the next play, I try to run the same exact inside zone I was using earlier, and I get absolutely nowhere as I get met the line of scrimmage and sandwiched by three different defenders. When I get back to the huddle, I see that he switched over to the exact same defense that I'm using, the under smoke. So it's clear, even to my opponent, which defense is really working best. As he sees the success I'm having and decides to ditch those other so called meta defenses that I was destroying in favor for the real meta defense, the under smoke. On second down, I decide to use the sail and pivot also this time, as it works the exact same way it did against me, as this has probably become one of the most boring gameplays of all time since we are both using the exact same offense and the exact same defense. My goal is to score with no time left and on the next play he skips part of the setup and he doesn't pinch the defense. So I go back to the inside zone and I easily get the first with a big run. I hurry him up again thinking I can have the exact same success I had earlier in the game against the dollar defense only this time he makes the full adjustment, closes those gaps and I get completely shut down the exact same way. Nope. So I'm going to have to do something else as I almost throw an interception on the next play. On third and ten I have to go back to the Saints fork as I get forced out of my favorite offense by my own defense. I want to throw to the corner round to be honest with you it's completely locked up but I make a good adjustment coming back to the ball as the difference in this game really just has been user skill at this point since we're both running the exact same offense and defense now. With no timeouts left I have to switch back to the Saints fork and he switches back to the spinner for one play which is the one play that I score as the spinner really doesn't cover very well. I try to go for two to capitalize on the two pointer that he missed and he comes out in my under smoke defense once again and shuts me down. If it isn't obvious yet, the under smoke has been way more effective than just about every meta blitz he's thrown at me so far in both run defense and pass defense. Second half, he gets the ball and he comes out running a two running back set and I expect him to throw to those routes since the running backs are usually the strength of these type of formations. So I go back to the original setup, which is basically the exact same thing, only this time I use the middle linebacker and start the play by hovering the guard gap pre-snap before driving into coverage. And you can see that since both the running backs go out on routes, we pull a blocker, letting the cornerback get in free. No! He goes back to the pitch play only to take a loss of two, and then on third and 12, the coverage is airtight, forcing a critical fourth and long. This time, I get the full pass defense setup in, which is the QB contain and guessing pass, and three different defenders all get in on Patrick Mahomes, but my fifth string cornerback, Josiah Scott, gets completely roasted by one of the fastest receivers in the entire game, McCole Hardman, and now we got a ball game. 
On offense, my opponent is now only running my under smoke defense. On the first play, he completely stuffs my inside zone. On the second play, nothing is open, and I almost throw an interception, but luckily my opponent changed his attention to the crossing drag. But I know I got away with one there, so I switch over to the much safer screen play and get nine yards on the next play. He switches back to the Overstorm Brave, which I know has no one user in the running back, so I hit the wheel route on back-to-back -back plays until he gets out of it. Which is another advantage to the under smoke defense is the running back doesn't have to be used at all since somebody is typically in coverage. He then goes back to the DB fire 2 and I easily get the first down with the inside zone once again. Then he brings out a brand new defense in a pinch blitz and look at the size of the hole as I almost get the first again. Then on second and one he finally goes back to the under smoke and you'll never guess what happens. He shuts me down for a loss. Are we noticing a trend here? On third and two though he makes the mistake once again by forgetting to close up the gaps so I switch over to the inside zone and I easily convert for the first. On the next play, he closes those gaps up this time, but I'm in kill clock mode since I'm up a score with three minutes left, so I decide to run it anyway, and you'll never guess what happens. So now this game comes down to this defense, which is exactly why I made this video about in the first place. And what offense did he come out in? And with the game on the line, my gun stack wide flex offense, of course. Link in the description. On the next play, the coverage is airtight once again. No. On third and seven, he uses the corner strike glitch for the first. You dirty motherfucker. He tries to get creative with a jet sweep, and that just goes backwards. Then on second and 12, I decide to add another step to try to kick this blitz up a notch by putting the user safety on a blitz and then hovering the guard gap before dropping into coverage. Just like I was doing earlier with the linebacker from the original setup and the pressure forces a bad throw as Mahomes is now running for his life. Nope. Now in third and 12 I do it again and he gets it out instantly for no gain forcing a critical fourth and 11 that will decide the game. I use the same setup one more time and both blitzing quarterbacks get in but I still have time to get back into coverage and make the play knocking it down over the middle to end the game as his offense completely stalled once I instituted that extra setup to the blitz. A few other takeaways about this defense is that once he started using it, I didn't score again as I scored all my points in the first half before he completely switched over and ran only my defense. So I scored three touchdowns against these other so-called meta blitzes before the real meta defense showed up and completely changed the game. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more about this blitz, like the original setup that I was still using from time to time throughout this game, or a breakdown of the offense that we both ended up using, I will have links on the screen for both of those videos. So if you want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.